Today I'm going to talk to you about the most popular Italian and Sicilian street foods. This isn't based on my preference, but this is based on what I think are the most popular that you'll find across Italy and Sicily. I may tell you what I prefer, of course, but mine is only an opinion. I'd be interested to know what is your favourite. Of course, there are endless variations, but let's start with the basics. A lamb skewer, also known as arrosticini, originates from the region of Abruzzo. The lamb is diced, added to a skewer and barbecued. It is a dish that is quick and easy to eat. The flavourings do vary. To learn more about La Bella Italia, consider subscribing. Arancini is a very long conversation. They are bread crumbed and fried rice balls with fillings that vary depending on which part of Sicily you are in. It can be meat, fish, seafood and vegetables. Traditionally they come from the Messina area. Arancini are not found in Rome. They are a different shape and they are called suppli. The ingredients and recipes are typically similar although maybe not fish and seafood. But the Roman version is often described as al telefono for the way that the heated cheese forms strings as you eat them. Of course the usual caveats, suppli often includes tomato sauce, is smaller than arancini, different shape, it's cylindrical and these are actually uh, often a carb laden side order that comes with your pizza. A calzone is basically a folded pizza with the same fillings you'd expect, which vary from ham, cheese, vegetables, and even eggs. Except pineapple. Pineapple is never presented on a pizza. The calzone originates from Campania, the area surrounding Naples. A panzerotto originates from Apulia. It's like a smaller fried margarita folded pizza. Focaccia is a regional variation on bread slices. In Italy, olive oil, herbs, seasoning originated in Liguria, northern Italy. One nice alternative variation is pizza e mortazza, which is Roman style focaccia filled with mortadella, which is meat from Bologna. Pane panelle are chickpea fritters served in a sesame seed roll. These panelle rolls can be combined with other ingredients. Recently I had them panelle aubergine, that's eggplant to the Americans, served up in a roll. Alternatively, sometimes if you have a portion of chips, you'll have small chickpea fritters mixed in with your chips. Panelle can be found across Sicily, but they are more particularly popular in Palermo and believed to be a legacy of the Arab occupation of Sicily. On a point of order, I always have pane panelle every time I go to Sicily, no exceptions. Panino con la milza is offal, which is lung and spleen, in a sesame bread roll, boiled and then fried. I'm not really selling it well, am I? By all accounts, it's really tasty. My cousins are big fans of it. One version of panino con la milza includes the offal, Cacio cavallo cheese or ricotta cheese as well. It is said this snack originated from the Hebrew ghettos of historical Palermo. Porchetta is marinated pork roast stuffed with garlic, black pepper, rosemary and a variety of other herbs. It is Roman of origin but popular across Italy. Panino con la porchetta is a popular street food during festivals. There are even festivals dedicated to porchetta. Sfincione originates from Palermo and is a variation on focaccia. It's thick sponge-like dough topped with tomato sauce, onions, anchovies, oregano and, and cacio cavallo cheese. Stigiola is another one of those Sicilian snacks you might want to try it before you know what it is. It is either lamb, goat or chicken guts served with onion and herbs typically grilled, served heated, sometimes with lemon and other seasonings. Buon appetito!